my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We are back here in Her Story. And where we last left off, I had done a bunch of searches here. As we can see here, there was, yeah, we did a total of seven searches. And the most interesting ones were, I think, Midwife. Actually, no, that wasn't. Don't bother. Uh, the most interesting ones, I think, were Story, Glazier, Fairy Tale, and Children. They brought up the most number of results. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm looking at, I've been accumulating the list of terms that we have could search for that uh, I have tagged in various past uh, videos here like money, uh, kids, Christmas, party, cooking, wife, and right now I'm up to a list of 49 different terms that we could potentially search for. So if you have any suggestions out of all the past videos of terms that I've tagged here that you might want to take a look at or think might be interesting or potential search, let me know because we cannot get to all of them. There's, yeah, my list is 49 terms long. I don't think there's any duplicates so yeah any of these terms could lead us anywhere anyway when I look at these there's a few terms that I want to follow up on uh, we have uh, done a search for children but I want to see if she says kid I wouldn't search for kids necessarily because the term kid will come up with any time she says kids unless of course there is more results than can be shown on here. Anyway, we have, uh, so I'm planning to do some searches on kids or kid, baby, as that, you know, she's pregnant and she's possibly said something about babies. And I'll probably also use babies, which is a different spelling. I will also probably search for stories. And I believe there is also widow. But, yeah. Anyway, we might as well jump into it and not waste any time. I like to keep episodes around 20 to 25 minutes, although it seems like I'm getting so involved in the episodes that I don't realize that they are going on to 30 minutes. So, yeah, about that. Anyway, so, the first term we are going to search for is stories. The plural of story. And I'm sure she says it a number of times. So let's see what comes up. Eight entries found, access limited to the first five. And yep, we, so we've seen two of them already. And there's three remaining of the five. Three others somewhere where she said story, whether or stories, whether or not we've actually seen them or not is, of course, uh, yeah. So we are going to jump into this seven second clip. It's okay. Sounds weird. I'm not great to make up stories. Sounds weird. I'm not great. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> add the session because of reasons. It's okay. Sounds weird. I'm not great to make up stories. Why would the investigator or an interrogator or an in interviewer, whatever? term is why would she or he or she be asking her to yeah uh, anyway <laughs> but we will do a search for weird okay. sounds weird we're not great to make up stories yeah and then this one comes a few minutes after that one Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. Okay. Castle. Child, which is a variation of children. Uh, let's take a look at it again. Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV, then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play up there and make up our own stories. Attic, attic. 
attic is not in my list. Did I just skip it or just not tag? Child attic dollhouse. That could be potentially. I'm going to take a look at it again. Yes. I read a lot as a child. TV. Watched lots of TV. Might then as well. the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. I'm also going to do search for fairy and TV. So right there, that's a lot of potential results. And uh, so I'm going to add that to session. And we're going to take a look at this one minute, nine second clip. All right. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale. Little furniture. The lights work. Mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. <laughs> well, there's a lot of information in there. Uh, whether I'll remember half the terms that uh, come to mind. Um, but uh, yeah, about that. Let's take a look at it again. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. It's a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale, little furniture, the lights work, mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing in it. We invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all. Passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate. Okay, there's uh, too much in there. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember half the terms and nope. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to add a session, maybe wash it back at a later time. But uh, if you would like to see that clip again, just, um, Play back this video. We played through it twice, so, or at least once full time, or f all the way through, or twice all the way through. But uh, yeah, I'm going to drop that for now. And um, you know what? Um, there was what was it? Stories was an another one okay so yeah we're gonna go on to the children you know what no we have have we done dollhouse might as well stay on that line of thinking dollhouse there is five clips found where she says dollhouse we've watched three of them already so let's take a look at this clip 28 seconds yes I inherited it from my parents so it made sense to move back, me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. <laughs> All right. Inherit. Inherited. Oh, is that one word or two? Or one R to inherit. Um, 
Well, let's take a look at it again. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so One it makes sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. Reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Oh, there was, there was another term. Yeah, my mind, my brain does not keep many things in its short-term memory <laughs> or active working memory. I'm going yes. to watch it in one more time. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Mm -hmm. Me and Simon. Yep. Pregnancy, pregnancy, that's what it was. Girl, a dollhouse in the attic. We didn't sleep in my... We didn't... It was another year before we started to sleep. Yes. Pregnancy, or... Yeah, pregnancy. And I'm going to try bedroom because of reasons. Now, have I done a search for attic? No, I haven't, which will be, of course, my next search. After we do this clip. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. She's saying Hannah. Of, of course, at this point in time, most likely she's acknowledged that uh, she's not Hannah, and rather she's Eve. So is she talking about her sister? Is her sister still alive? I'm going to watch it again. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Hannah Simon. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated. Hannah moved. Eric gave Simon the week off. To Hannah moved back in with Simon. You, Eric did gave you Simon move the week back off in? to help with the move. He decorated, modernized <laughs> wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Oh, it would be nice if there was a pause button in these you can only you can't stop it you can't pause it you can only close out the video all right um blur um <laughs> so yeah she was talking about hannah as in her sister did she not no, she lived in there. She moved in with Simon. And then Hannah must have moved in with her, with them. And... Oh, watch it again. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hannah moved back in with Simon. Legal stuff. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was. Dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Okay. So I'm guessing that they had moved into the house and then the legal stuff that she's referring to had to do with the fact that uh, they finally acknowledged that they were twins to the world or that they existed or... Uh, <laughs> anyway... We'll add that to the session and yeah about that let's do a search for actually I'm going to take a look at one more the time the legal stuff was completed very quickly Hand moved back in with Simon Eric wait a minute she says that to help with, the with Simon Hand Eric moved back in with Simon he decorated Modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic we left as it was, dollhouse and all. She's misspeaking, or is she Simon speaking about there. herself in the third person? 
All right, about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, so I've added that to the session, and so we haven't done a search for attic. And there is one more search, or one more clip here. We have 12 entries found. So there are seven others that where she said the word attic. Let's take a look at this one. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they? We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they? We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Wait a minute. I just thought of something. <laughs> this might sound crazy, but uh, she... Okay, how do we explain this? So she has a twin, and earlier in one of the clips she talked about where they got in an argument about something probably the pregnancy or something, the mirror that she got as a present, she got angry or whatever, and she took off to Glasgow, and then he went missing. Maybe... Okay, she's Eve. Maybe Hannah killed Simon. And... No. And it's being blamed on her. Because, you know... Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm going to see if anything comes up with Attic and Dollhouse at the same time. Nope. Five entries found where Attic and Dollhouse come in at the in the same clip. Attic and Child. One entry found where she says Attic and Child. Children. No entries. Okay. Um, how can we find the other? Um, I'm going Rapunzel. It's only one time she said Attic and Rapunzel in the same sentence, I think. Yep. And we had watched this one already. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? Mm -hmm. I mean, could they? We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Hair doll. I'm going to add it to the session because I add everything. And we are going to search for doll. Really? Okay. Did I spell that right? I wonder, what if I... Okay, um, dolls? Okay, I guess she only says the word doll once. Uh, what was the other term? Hair. And so we got eight clips, access limited the first five entries. So we've seen the first three of them might have seen the next three, so we're going to take a look at this one. I wonder why she has a guitar there. Like, what kind of interview is this? <laughs> anyway, three second clip. What kind of hairs? What kind of hairs? Well, <laughs> um, any kind of hairs, but uh, that's not important. Let's take a look at this. 2 minute 36 second clip. I'm assuming she must be playing a song during this one and singing a song. Let's add it to the session in case I forget. You want me to play something? 
I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. Okay? Probably needs tuning. No. It's okay. How about a tradition? If you can tell the guitar is in tune, you are a good guitar player. Unlocked a traditional ballad. <laughs> okay, about that. Um, yeah, um, I don't really want to do play this one again on screen um, because of reasons. Although, you know, wind or rain could bring up something, but uh, yeah, let's take a look to see what we are at. Oh, some of the details are filling in, although we do have these big gaps here. So, yeah, this should be interesting. Do we have time to do one more search? Uh, we've done a few searches, although Attic was a rather... Yeah. Uh... You know what, I'm going to move on to, since we are all on the dollhouse and child and children theme, I'm going to do a search for baby. 17 entries found. Access limited to the first five entries. Wow. Uh, 16 minutes, or no, 16 seconds. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saving for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. When else has she said the word hotel? We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too night? much to do more. We were saving for the baby. Wedding night, Brighton. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Holiday. Oh, there was one more. There was one more term. We spent the wedding night in a Brighton. hotel in Brighton. That's what it was. That was what it was. 
All right, I'm going to definitely add that to the session and we are going to carry on with this 14 second clip. No, I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage of eight months. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. Well, she had a miscarriage. Chances are she probably doesn't say the term more than that one time. I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. All right. I'm going to do a search for the, ooh, one minute. I'm going to do this shorter clip first. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. Hmm. Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. Oh, that's funny. She says, uh, I hadn't uh, decided whether to keep the baby. As though it was just up to her. And that he doesn't really have a say in the matter. Yeah, about that. Um, let's go on to this clip, and this will probably be the last clip for the episode. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night, and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother said. She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff. About when we lived there. About the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile, was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. The, yeah, um, about that. I'm going to listen to it one more time. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff. About when we lived there. About the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile, was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back. And that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open. Saw the body. Let me guess, Simon's body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. She had mentioned in that story where the week before she had looked down and saw that 
the nursery stuff was in the wrong spot. So she went down. A few days later after talking to Simon's mom about sad things and yeah about that <laughs> all right well that's a sad note to leave off on but at this point it is of course going to be where we're going to have to leave it because half an hour anyway thank you for watching this episode of her story if you have any suggestions at all of which terms we should search for let me know down in the comments and I will prioritize those terms over my long list of terms that we actually have. And if you need to, you can go back to the previous videos and review the various terms that we searched for and the ones I had tagged on the various videos. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming and as always, have a good day.